Well, hi guys, welcome back to Taylor Toned. I have for you today a 27 minute floor pilates and bar workout. So this one is completely floor based and you don't need any equipment, but I would advise that you have a mat or some sort of soft surface to protect knees, feet, back, ankles, wrists, say every time, but grab something to protect yourself from the ground. If you've not hit subscribe already, do that right now. Press the bell so you get notified every single time I upload a brand new workout, which is every Tuesday and Thursday. I've also got a mailing list, www.taylortoned.com. I'm revealing some very, very super special, exciting news in January, and I can't wait to share it with you all. You'll be the first to know if you join the mailing list. Also, give me a follow on Instagram. I am at taylortoned. This one's going to be fantastic. I can definitely feel that that abs in this one is going to be a burner. Let's get straight into the class. Starting in a seated position, you're going to bring your hips towards your heels and you want your legs in a parallel position. Then you're going to reach forwards, extend the arms in front of yourself, allow your chest to come onto your thighs and the hands pitch forwards. Find an elongation through the spine, breathe, inhale, exhale. Then you're going to rock it forwards four point position, rock it back, back into that parallel child's pose, forward for two, we push it back, extend, every time you reach the hips backwards, really lengthen through the spine, pushing it forwards for two, press back and push, you've got it, pushing it forwards, every time you come into that box position, hands go under the shoulders, knees underneath those hips, two more push forwards, we're just warming up the body here, rock it back, one more, forwards, you're gonna push it back. Now this time hold in your four point. Tuck the toes under, press, down dog. Lift the heels, roll back down to the floor. We go, tuck, push, lift. Roll all the way down and towards that four point. Tuck, press, lift. Let's go, push those heels, knees down to the floor. Tuck and push. Now this last one you're gonna hold down here. Tuck the toes, lift the knees up. This is your modified option to stay right here. Squeeze your belly button up towards your spine. You want to create yourself a box position. Knees hover one millimeter from the floor. You're going to tap. Hand to knee, down. Hand to knee, down. We go tap, down, tap, down. So if you can't quite get this action, modification, keep the toes tucked under and keep the knees lifted. This is your modification advance when you're going to squeeze both off floor. Both off floor. You've got it. Inhale. Woo. Exhale. Two more. Tap. Down. One more. Tap. Down. The whole thing. Knees hover off the floor. The knees are going to go drop, drop, lift. So you go down, down, up. Keep squeezing that belly button in. I know it's getting tough right now. Eye line in between your fingertips. Hands underneath those shoulders. You've got your palms grounded towards your mat. Go tap, tap, lift. Two more. Lift, hold. One more. Now stay there. Stay up there. Squeeze your abs and work your core. You have just six. Just five. Low the knees in four. In three. In two. One. Low the knees down. You're going to give yourself a little shoulder roll around. And then circle through those arms to bring the hands behind the back. Gently open the chest up towards the sky. Stretching out through the abdominals, elongate through the upper body. And then you're going to bring your hands forwards. You're going to clasp your fingertips together just like this. And you're going to make sure you have your elbows finger distance apart, then clasp from there. Then you're going to set your forearms down to the floor, tuck the toes under, step backwards. Now you're going to send your feet in line with the hips. I want you to stay right here for me. If you want the modification, you're going to drop down onto the fleshy part of your knees, top of your knees, bottom of your thighs. So if you're up here in the advancement, this is your option. You're going to walk it backwards and then you're going to walk it forwards again. But then rock the shoulders over the top of the elbows. So you're going for a little walk here, backwards and walk forwards. I was going to say that, imagine you're a dog in a walk. <laughs> Walking backwards and walking forwards again. Keep those abs squeezing in nice and tight. Walking it backwards. Woo! Walking it forwards. Keep the navel pulled all the way to the spine. Keep your eye line to the floor. And you want a nice straight, elongated body here. When you walk forwards, you're challenging the shoulders, upper abs. When you walk backwards, 
challenging those lower abs. We've got one more of these going for a walk, walking it backwards. Now hold your central position, heels over the top of the knees. The knees go tap, tap, they lift. They tap, tap, they lift. The navel pulls in, elbows are shoulder distance apart. They tap, tap, will lift. Feet hip distance apart. If you can feel it in the lumbar spine, tuck under through the tailbone, squeeze the abs in. You've got three, lift, two, lift. Last one, now keep those knees lifted and stay there. Give me seven, you've got this, six, and five, drop the knees in, four, Woo! three, two, one. Oh my, that burn. You're gonna sweep your feet in front of yourself at this point. I want you to dig the heels in towards the floor and you're going to send your fingertips towards your heels. This is your modified version here. Bending, pressing, bending, pressing. So that's modified. If you want it more advanced, go ahead. Lift those hips away from the floor. Bring that eye line forwards. I'm going to count you in. I'm going to talk you through the whole thing. So bring that eye line forward. Open through the chest. Elbows are bending backwards, fingertips are pointing forwards. If you want to modify your tricep dips today, you're going to rock the weight forwards. If you want to make it that a little bit trickier, rock the weight backwards towards your fingertips. Don't sink into the shoulder girdle, open through the chest. Inhale, exhale, give me your biggest bend ever. All you've got, three, push, two, push. Now hold the bend, bend your elbows nice and deep. Go tiny, bounce, bounce, bounce. Rock the weight backwards. Take a nice deep bend, open through the heart. You have just five, just four. We hold in three, two, one. Stay there, don't drop out. Bend those elbows a little bit deeper. Rock the weight backwards. Four, eight, four, seven, bend deeper. Six and five, you're out in four. Turn the arm, three, two, one. Well done, facing round towards me. You're just gonna bring your fingertips together, roll out through the wrists. Bring your right forearm towards the floor. Bring this underneath toe in line with your booty, bring your knee forward, and then you're gonna lift up through this knee, and then sweep backwards, push. Straight in towards your boot, your, your boot, your seat, your seat section, your booty section. So this is all about burning out the butt, burning out the side of the leg. So we push backwards, slice, and then we lift up and open. Every time you lift up and open, try to keep your hips square to me, you're just showing me your inner thigh. So this sequence is not only great for your butt and the side of your butt, it's great for your inner thighs as well. Press backwards, open up. So it's kind of like a, a clamshell. We go open up, slice. So every time you push backwards, that top leg is hovering two inches from that underneath leg. Lift up, open. We go slice it back, lift up, open. Now really show me your inner thigh. But keep those hips square. Keep your shoulders facing towards me. I love these side on positions because as you push the forearm into the floor, you're also building stabilizing strength in the upper body, which means you're toning the upper body too. You're creating that dancer's figure with the upper body, that long, slender, sleek toned figure. We go open up, you've got it. We go push it back, we push it open. Let's go two more here. Push open, one more, press back. Now you're going to push open and hold. Keep this toe off the floor. The upper body then goes down to the floor and you're going to come, let me move my mic, sorry. You're going to come on towards the forearm. The hand comes in front. This leg is still up here. You're going to lift the toe off the floor. I've completely messed up with my mic equipment today. You're going to bring this forearm down. Toe lifted, underneath toe has come to the top toe. Forearm on the ground, we go little wrap, little push, little push, little press. Squeeze the back of the thigh behind yourself. We go little push, little press, little press. The back of the thigh is trying to touch that wall, whatever's behind you is trying to touch it. Really keep our here. Notice your forearm in front is on the floor. This will rotate your hips towards me and it will really target in towards your outer butt. Push, press. Press. We've got 30 seconds of this. 
you can do it. Squeeze those toes together, push backwards. Let's get that deep bar burn out. I know that you can, everyone. Stick with me, little push, little press. 15 seconds. How intense can you make your burnout? How much can you work with me in your Taylor Tone class today? Push, you've got 10, nine, eight more pushes, seven, I know, six, five, push it, four, three, two, one. You're gonna lower down on towards your chest at this point. Lower down towards the chest. You're gonna reach the forearms to the floor and you're gonna extend your left fingertips forward. Turn out through the feet and relax the lower body. Inhale, exhale, we go. Lift up through the upper body, low back down to the floor. Lift, extend, down to the floor. So I want you to, as much as you possibly can, keep the eye line grounded towards your mat. That top arm is in a fifth position. <clears throat> you are lengthening through the upper body. You have got your lower body on the floor here. This is all about toning up your back, making it super strong, slender, sleek. We go lift up, lengthen. We take it down, two more here. Lift up, lengthen. Now last one, you're gonna lift up and then hold. The arm stays in a fifth. Your other arm draws off the floor, meets it in a fifth position here. We reach the arms long, reach behind. We reach forward, lengthen. We reach behind. Let's do this. We reach forwards for two. Inhale, exhale, reach backwards. Keep those legs relaxed down towards the floor. You want your chest peeling away from the ground. Push back, lengthen. You've got it. Reach forwards. Push back, lengthen. Two more. Reach and forwards. Press back, lengthen. Last one. Now you're going to reach forwards. You're going to hold. You're going to now circle the arms into a fifth position and drop your left forearm down. We go down, up, down. A little bit faster the side. I don't want this in the lumbar spine. I want length and height. If you're barely getting away from the floor, that is completely fine, completely normal. But you should feel it in the back here. You should feel strength in the back. Three. Let's go. Two. Now last one. Hold. Reach both those hands forward. Now point through the toes, extend through the knee joint. You're gonna lift your toes away from the floor. You're gonna take little tiny presses up and up. Lift the arms and the legs for seven, for six. So you've got five, four, three, two, one. Hands go down, lift your back up. Hands with those shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Little cat and cow gently releasing through the spine. Inhale, exhale, press the chest down, lift the eye line up. Okay, onto the forearms, number 11 with the forearms. Now tuck the toes under, press back. You have a plank hold here, a really quick plank hold. I want you to squeeze your belly button up towards the spine. I want you to squeeze your butt together at this point. Your shoulders stack over the top here of your elbows. Eye line down towards the ground and the heels rock over the toes of the balls of the feet. Inhale, exhale, you've got this. Keep going, I put my stopwatch in the wrong place today so I keep looking backwards, it's so bad for your neck that don't look, try not to look backwards too much like I am. You have just eight, just seven, just six. You've got five, other side of booty in four, in three, in two, one. Lower those knees down. Let's go, other side. Bring the forearm to the ground and then bring your toe in line with your hip. Bring your knee forward. We go open and then slice it backwards. So kind of like a clamshell. This is different choreography to anything I've really ever done because I don't really ever do this swinging thing here. I normally keep everything super controlled, parallel, all turned out. I don't know, sometimes I think that if I'm doing this swinging thing, people aren't gonna get as good of a burnout. And also, I've got bad hips. I've not got much of a range of movement in my hip area. So I worry that other people feel the same way. But do you know what? We're gonna do this today. Drop me a comment down below if you loved it, if you got a massive burnout, I wanna know. We press back slice, we lift up. So as you slice back, your toe and your knee are in one alignment. And then your shoulder, your inner thigh contracting from your outer butt as you come into that clamshell. Open up, we go, push, press, back. We go, open up, we go, press it back. Keep the chest square to me. 
don't sink into that shoulder girdle. I want to pull up and out of that forearm. Be super strong and proud of your workout today. Draw your waistline away from the floor so that underneath of your waist needs to be actively pulling away from your mat so you're working your, working your obliques too. We slice and push. We lift up. You've got it. Let's go three more here. Open up. Two more. Slice back. We open up. One more. Now open up, hold. You're going to stay here. The knees up on the diagonal. Hips are square forward. The toe is lifted. Same as first side. Lower arm towards the upper body. Bring the hand on the side of the head. And now bring the forearm to the ground. Messed up this side as well because I want mics in the way. You're going to bring the forearm to the ground. You're going to press toes together, open through the knee. Little push, little press, little push, little press. I'm going to strategically try and move this. We go, little push. Inhale, exhale. And now, after all that, there's a glare on my stopwatch, so I can't really see the time properly. Push, push is all going on today. Keep the toes together, press through the back of the thigh. Forearm is on the ground. You will lose that range of movement in your knee. It will not be as far away from the ground as it was before, but you can do it. Inhale, exhale. I'm gonna close my eyes at this point because wow, this burns. Little push, little press, little squeeze and squeeze. Okay, we're coming into that final part. Keep the forearm to the floor. I am shaking. I hope you are too. That shaking is a good sign. We have 10, nine, eight, seven. This is tough, six. Five, push it, you've got four, three, two, one. That was an uncontrollable shake. That did not feel pleasant on my butt, but it's gonna do so much good. You're gonna bring your hands now underneath the shoulders. Give me a little cat and cow, inhale, exhale, lift the eyeliner up. And then I want you to bring your hips back towards your heels. I'm just gonna rearrange my mic. You're gonna go in towards a quick stretch and balance section. So I want you to then bring this left arm, thread it in between this hole here, and you're going to press the, uh, the shoulder down towards the floor. Bring your palms towards the ceiling. Then lengthen this top hand over the top of the head. Rock the weight into that opposing leg, imposing knee, and you're going to go ahead, trying to fire the toe away from the floor. You might need to focus on something. Open through the hip flexor on that right leg, point through the toe, elongate through the knee joint. Find a breath, inhale, find a breath, exhale. Lower the toe to the floor. Press into your right hand to lift yourself all the way up. You're gonna go ahead, take it to the other side. So now you're gonna thread your right hand underneath your left arm, press the palm to the sky, roll the shoulders to the floor, reach this top hand over the top of the shoulder. You will be facing away from me at this point. And then I want you to send your toe up towards the sky, open through the hip, find a balanced position, point through the toe. The toe, the active toe, is in line with the same hip and same shoulder. Find a breath, inhale, exhale. Lower the toe to the floor, bring the hands back underneath your shoulders. You're then gonna scoop left foot forwards and tuck the right toe under. You're gonna lift all the way up into a quick lunge position. Inhale, exhale. Lower the back knee to the floor. You're gonna sweep this left foot round and then you're gonna send your right foot to the front, 90 degree angle, tuck the back toe under, lift up through the knee and hold here for a breath in, hold here for a breath, exhale. Lower the knee to the ground, sweep this foot round to the back and then you're gonna come on towards your sit bones and then send it down on towards the forearms. Bring one leg to a tabletop, bring the other leg to a tabletop. Connect your inner thighs together straight in towards your ab section. Your sacrum, your lumbar spine right now is on the floor. You want a C shape with the spine, legs here are in a 90 degree angle. Their hips are gonna go little tuck, release. Little tuck, release. We go little tuck, release. Haven't done this exercise in a while. This is truly a traditional bar move, bar ab set. It is a deep burner, but it's a really internal burn. You really have to think about this action to get burnout. It's not like a plank where you just instantly burn. You really need to take a mind-body connection, rotating both your hip bones 
those two bony bits on the front of your body. You're rotating them in towards your ribs, into your belly button. And whilst you do that, you're trying to, as much as you can, keep your knees, your toes still. So take your eye line for me right now onto your knees and onto your toes. Try and keep those still, but rotate the hips under and you'll get such a deep burnout. Tuck, release, tuck, release. Now keep open through the chest, forearm. As I said, they're down to the floor. We go little tuck, release. So you've got three, you have just two. Last one, now you're gonna hold the tuck and then release it halfway so you've still got some engagement. Now you're gonna open through those knees. Go tap, go lift, go tuck, release. We go tap lift, go tuck, release, we go, tap, lift, tuck, release, who's ready to up the tempo, so we go for a tap, lift, tuck, tap, lift, woo, tap, lift, tuck, tap, lift, tuck, you may need to close your eyes like me at this point because it is so chitty burnout, we go tap, lift, tuck, tap, lift, tuck, three, tuck, Two, tuck, one, tuck, now tuck, under. Keep tucking, rotate those hip bones in towards your spine as much as you possibly can. And this should make you shake out uncontrollably. Tuck, tuck, you've got five, we hold in four. In three, in two, now hold the tuck, you're gonna glue your inner thighs together, you're gonna flex through those feet. You're gonna rotate the hips under, press the heels away back into a tabletop, press the heels away. If you can't feel this, rotate those hip bones under. My legs are in an uncontrollable shake right now. Tuck the hips, press the heels away, back in again. This one, you're gonna hold it, send the legs away, modification, back into that tabletop. Open through the heart, eye line forward. Give me a little rotate under through those hips. As you rotate under, take your eye line on towards your legs, on towards your feet, don't let them move, and just rock the hips for seven, for six, for five, final ab set here in four, in three, in two, one. Well done, lower down. Bring the hands behind the head and cup the head. Open through those elbows. Inhale, you're gonna exhale, bring the chin to the chest and you're gonna lift into a crunch and then lower back down to the floor. Inhale, exhale, you're gonna bring your chin to your chest and you're gonna open curl low back down towards the floor. So this is your last ab set. Give me everything that you've got. Woo. Inhale, exhale, bring your chin to chest, crunch, lift, and lower back down. We have two more of these. I'm thinking of this is way simple coping, considering what you normally do in your bar classes. Don't worry, it's coming. You're gonna bring your chin to your chest, you're gonna open it up, and you're gonna hold the crunch, head and shoulders off the floor. You're gonna lift your right leg off the floor into a 90 degree angle. This left hand, it crosses, it crosses the same leg, crosses, crosses. So go cross and chop, cross, chop, cross, chop, Crush up, so you go diagonal and then center. Diagonal and center. As you take this action, the head, neck, shoulders, they are off the floor for me. Give me everything you've got. Get those head, neck, shoulders off the floor. In a crunch, you should feel it in the upper abdominals, in those wretched abs. And cross, you've got three, two, one. Hold, four, six, four, five. Head, neck, shoulders are off the floor at this point. Three, two, one. Hand goes back behind the head. Lower the foot down, let's crunch. Well, we go on the tempo, single. Lift, down, lift. My abs are on fire right now. That forearm tuck in position that we just did before this. Wow, that burns. But this is just like a finisher. It's like when you really don't want to do that thing and then someone forces you to do it and you're like, yeah, that was as painful as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> lift, drop. You've got two. Last one, now you're going to lift up, hold. I want you to bring your left foot off the floor. Cross, chop, cross, center, cross, center. Cross, chop over the top of that leg. It's like you're chopping away your old body and you're bringing in a brand new tail to body. Cross, chop, and chop, and chop. You've got four, three, two, one, bring the hands behind the head, lower down, lift. You're so nearly done, you lift by 45 more seconds left. Whose abs are on fire right now, right now? We go crunch, crunch. You've got four, you have three. 
you have two. Last one, you're gonna hold this one hand and shoulders off down, reach the hands down towards your feet. Any neck injuries, injuries or issues, bring the hands behind the head. You got a penguin. This is gonna really finish our abs off. Tap the toe, tap the toe. Keep the head and the shoulders off the floor. And you may need to breathe through this because wow, it burns. Inhale, exhale, so hold the breath like I just did. You've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. City of mine. Oh. I think they might have been the hardest abs I've ever done, potentially. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just feeling like a wimp today. So the feet down towards the floor. Stretch with me. You're going to surrender your palms up towards the sky. Relax the body down. And at this point, you're going to close your eyes. Take a really deep inhalation in. So inhale in for three. Hold the breath for three. And exhale away for three. Soles of the feet are down towards the floor. Rock those knees side to side, left to right, left to right. Gently inhaling and exhaling. I'm not joking, guys. My abs are still like, oh, that burned. <laughs> you gotta bring your knees in towards the chest. Hug the legs in nice and tight. Give yourself a little rock side to side. Rock backwards, rocking it up forwards. Then you're gonna face round towards me, and I want you to extend your left leg out towards the side, and then you're gonna push backwards on towards those hips, and ground the forearms into the floor. Press the chest down to the thigh. Lifting up, you're gonna keep this knee to the floor, bring the hand just off to the diagonal, reach this arm carefully out to the side, and then lengthen it backwards. You should get stretch here through the abdominals, through the back, through the hip flexor. And then carefully roll back round in the circle from where you came to where you came from. I want you to then extend your right foot towards the side, ground the side of the foot down, and then push the hips backwards. Press your forearms to the floor, extend the leg out. You should feel this into the inner thigh. If you can't, just make sure the leg is in line with the shoulder. The knee is long and lengthened, and you're down onto the thigh on this other leg. Lift yourself up. The left arm goes into a diagonal position. The fingertips spread. You're gonna then push up through the hips and then try to circle backwards through the arm. And you can always point through this right leg, open through the chest, open through the upper body. And then back through the center. I want you to bring your hips towards your heels. Oh, my pants up, sorry. <laughs> You're gonna bring your right hand down to the floor. Lengthen this left arm over the top. And then circle the arm down. As you do, you're gonna take a half roll with the head. So roll the head down. You're gonna circle halfway, other side. Send the arm over. And then back to the center. I want you to come into a cross-legged position. Crossing through the legs. You're gonna send the palms up towards the ceiling. Bring your fingertips together. Full yoga vibe. Bring the palms up towards the sky. Roll the shoulders down. Sit nice and tall off those sit bones. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And well done. Hair's probably everywhere right now. And well done in your 27 minute bar and Pilates workout with me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Join my mailing list on www.taylortone.com and I'll see you again in a couple of days for another brand new workout. Bye everyone.